I'm joined in the studio right now with Logan Marburg. Did I say that correct, Marburg? Yes. And we've got uh, Dad Chrissy here. We got Mom Trudy. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Doing? Thanks for uh, spending some time with me today. Thanks for having us. So just talking to the mic. Don't be afraid of it. It's okay. not going to bite. We got Logan here in the studio. She's 16 years old from Jackson, New Jersey. What type of cancer are, are you dealing with? We're going to get right into it. I have small cell carcinoma of the ovary, so it's ovarian. You're 16 years old. Yes. When were you diagnosed with this? December 21st. Of 2015? Yes. So this is still kind of new, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, for you. What's it been like from when you found out you were diagnosed until, until, until where we are today? Well, it was really kind of surreal at first, but my mom had stage 3 breast cancer four years ago, so I think a lot of it doesn't phase me as much as it normally would because I watched her go through it. So it's gotten easier. So, uh, mom, uh, dad, whoever wants to talk, yeah. uh, what kind of what kind of daughter is Logan over here? Be nice. She's sitting right next to you. <laughs> uh, strong, positive. I can't even imagine, you know, what she's going through at sixteen. You know, I like she said, I had breast cancer um, four years ago when I was thirty-five, and that was difficult. But being sixteen years old and having your whole life ahead of you and having it to to stop and take such a such a break from having that life, it's it's hard. I, I'm proud of her. The same. I mean, uh, you know, Logan, she's a very strong girl and, you know, she's very smart. You know, just to be able to, you know, deal with these things every day and still have a positive outlook on everything, you know, she's just been, you know, a model for everybody out there. I mean, you know, she gets down at times, you know, but um, at the end of the day, she's really focused on just getting well and doing whatever she needs to do. I mean, you know, there's been, you know, times where she's had really rough treatments and really tough times going through being in the hospital you know, close to every week and, and uh, you know, she still comes, keeps going back for more. So, you know, I couldn't be more proud of her and, uh, you know, just trying to make the best out of things and and making sure that we have the, you know, the longest, uh, you know, life we come with, come with her. Do you remember your first uh, dealings uh, with them, Logan, when you first met Ocean of Love, when they first came into your life? Well, we found out through my aunt, actually. And when we first met them, they were really warm and fuzzy and they just um, welcomed us with open arms and they really, really help a lot. They're amazing. What are, what are some of the things that they have, they have done for you now? Obviously, they, they talk to your parents quite a bit, um, but just personally, what they've done for you, for your everyday living. They have a lot of fun activities to do with the family and everything because cancer doesn't just affect me. It affects my whole family, and I really enjoy the events that they have. What kind of events have they had? Um, they've had private viewings of movies like Finding Dory and stuff. They have um, a boardwalk day coming up soon where you go and you get to get on all the rides and everything and free food and stuff. And they also have picnics, yeah. um, all kinds of fun things. Um, Mom and Dad, we'll turn it back to you now. Ocean of Love. Now, how, how's it been, your experience with Ocean of Love so far? I mean, it's been great. I mean, you know, everybody there is really willing and helpful and, and whatever you need. You know they're, they're right there for you i mean whether it's you know helping to you know to pay the cost of going back and forth to the hospital which could be you know it's you know at first when you're first going through this you really feel like that you could do it on your own and it's not a big deal but then once you get into the grind of doing this and going to the hospital every week you see what a toll it takes on everybody not just financially but emotionally and you know they, they've been there to you know support us any way they can you know, whether it's, you know, giving us some Wawa gas cards to go back and forth to pay for gas or helping pay for tolls, you know, they've just been, you know, amazing at everything. Ocean of Love is not just the, the gas card charity. A lot of people think that because that is a big deal. When gas prices were so expensive a few years ago and you have to travel to, to Philadelphia or New York City right. and you go in a couple times a week, that absolutely, absolutely. adds up. Uh, you know, we hear stories from families too about um, while you're maybe taking care of Logan in the treatment, far away your other kids still need to be attended to and you still need to put food on a table and and pay for things for them and ocean of love they have their volunteers they come in they make sure that pretty much every need of every family is really just taken care of you know board, boardwalk day is actually one of logan's favorite events one of the things she, she looks forward to and and you know actually this year we were able to they were able to help us out to get a timeshare down in florida which we're going to be going to you know this weekend very nice um you know one of the one of their uh, i guess uh, donors donated a timeshare which you know we don't really get a chance to take a family vacation so you know it's a great opportunity so logan's actually going to miss boardwalk day this year but uh, uh she's i think a it's a good trade-off it. <laughs> <laughs> nice but uh, you know it's, it's just amazing that you know they they had that timeshare donated and you know they thought of our family to uh you know be you know to to take that trip 
So, you know, we're very appreciative. Are you still in school right now? No, I'm not. I haven't been since January. With my chemo schedule, it's just really hard. I get chemo every Monday and every third Monday. I have to stay overnight at the hospital to get it, and I'm not feeling well after that. So I get about four good days, and if I had a tutor or something like an at-home tutor on those days, um, I wouldn't be able to have another one until three weeks later. So it doesn't really work. Uh, what do you think your life would be if, if Ocean of Love was not part of it? Um, it, it would be really hard. It'd be really hard um, financially as well as just emotionally, mentally. I mean, they do help a lot with trying to make my life as easy as they can. They, I mean, just it's the little things that count, really. Has Ocean of Love been there for your siblings as well? They have. They try to make them ha as happy as possible, too. You know, they, they look forward just as much as going to... Uh going to see Danielle over that ocean love, uh, you know, as, as we do, you know, they'll come in, you know, go see her and give her hugs and, and mm -hmm. come in and, and play with the games that they have inside the, the, the house there and everything like that. We're talking with the Mar Marburg family. I apologize. And we got Logan and uh, mom and dad, Chris and Trudy. You're sharing your story about why we raised this money for ocean love, $105,700. Uh, what message do you give people? They're just listening to the radio right now. They're not hearing Aerosmith. They're not hearing ACDC, <laughs> but they hear us just talking about whatever. Cancer is really hard and it doesn't just affect the child that's going through it, it affects the whole family. And I think it's really important that people understand how much this means to all of us and that your donations really do go a long way. $105,700 is our goal. We need the community's generosity and their caring to come on out and help because we all do this together. And if everybody comes together, we'll, we'll raise that money once again. So. Uh... We appreciate all that you do in, in, you know, raising this and being able to you know, give back to them and, and help us and our families and everything like that. So Shocking how many kids there are in, in Ocean County that have cancer. and You Too don't many. know it unless you live it. And I just have to say that I really have met some amazing people <clears throat> through Oceans of Love. I've met a lot of other kids going through the same type of thing that I'm going through. And it's really nice to talk to somebody that understands. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.